11 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we're here at the Arm booth, and uh, who are you? Uh, Noel Hurley, I'm the general manager of uh, CPU Group at Arm. So you announced, just recently you announced Arm Cortex A72. Yes, so we announced that in February and we announced the availability to our semiconductor partners of the A72 and actually alongside that a whole suite of IP for next generation premium mobile. Uh, including Mali T880 and also Interconnect. So we're combining processors, GPU, also video and display and Interconnect together. Nice. As a suite of IP. So uh, A72 is really powerful. Yes. So how powerful are we talking about? Well, if you compare it with the phones that we're seeing today uh, in the shops, you're looking at about three and a half times the performance in the same power envelope as you as you have there. Obviously, at this show, um, uh, OEMs and, and many of the big brands are starting to announce their first 64-bit processors based on the Cortex 57. And we've seen a number of those announcements and products out in the marketplace. And right now, uh, our semiconductor partners are working on the next generation of, of SOCs and we've seen a few announcements from uh, the semiconductor industry on what their plans are around the Cortex A72 and continuing the 64-bit uh, journey, should we say. So over here, for example, you have uh, here's uh, A7, A57 and this is, uh, this is on the market. So yes, yes. So 57 is Big Little is a big... Yes, so this is uh, a Big Little A57, A53 um, uh, from LG uh, as a new product. So um, Big Little is really uh, uh, it's a big success right now with 64-bit. A yes. lot of uh, people are in implementing it. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, we're seeing, we're seeing the Big Little architecture being used throughout. All right, so how, uh, how about Big Little with the A72? Uh, yes, um, we will continue to work on, on Big Little using A72 and A53, uh, and we'll see that in a number of different configurations. That are, that's our expectation. So quad, this core, quad Core 50, uh, 72, Quad Core 53, and, and also maybe dual and quads, etc. So a whole range of configurations. So what's the architecture improvement that you've done compared to 57 to, to 72? Yeah, so what we've done with um, Cortex uh, 72 is we've made a number of microarchitectural changes uh, and also made some uh, engineering improvements in the design. You always learn something new as, uh, as you go through that process. And so we've made improvements in performance, we've made improvements in, in the power and power efficiency as well. So right across the board, as well as uh, trying to reduce the area as much as we can. So it's actually lower power consumption? Uh, yeah, it's a more efficient um, processor. We've improved the energy efficiency uh, of the uh, A72. Is there also some uh, uh, some uh, customized optimization for the new nanometers that are coming out? Well, whenever we do a design, we're doing a design uh, and we're taking into consideration the environment in which it's in. So we're always looking at how we make improvements that are related to the process node that's being targeted or the type of SOC environment that it's going into. So, And that's also true of the GPUs as well as the CPUs. And, uh, but it, it can work on different nanometers, not only uh, 16? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all, all the cores can be, can be um, uh, ported onto different process nodes. And, right. and, and FinFET or non-FinFET doesn't really matter. And it's already coming out this year. Some, some can already release some this year. Some partners uh, have announced uh, sampling of products, yes, uh, during, uh, towards the back end of this year. Uh, I'm really expecting there to be product in the 2016-2017 range end. So when we're talking about a jump in performance, that means uh, new markets are even uh, better suited, like uh, a laptop market and... Uh, yeah, we can look at, we can look at, um, if we look at what's driving um, performance requirements, we're seeing an increase in use in productivity tools and applications. You've seen Microsoft with uh, their office suites now moved on to supporting iOS and Android. And so, of course, with that comes different form factors. We can either migrate into existing form factors, as you see, with with uh, this type of um, uh, Acer laptop Chromebook type yeah. form factors, 
um, but also whatever makes sense. So you'll see more powerful tablets, you'll see more powerful phones, um, and who knows where it goes.